KCB dealers, how are you doing? Well, I was uh, just looking online the other day and I discovered that C White, uh, who are the people who make paper I really like, I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, I just really like what they do. Um, I discovered they're doing watercolour notebooks. So I emailed them and said, I couldn't possibly have something to test and try out on this channel. And sure enough, they sent me samples, which is very, very kind of them. So they have sent me an A5 watercolour travel journal and an A6 watercolour travel journal. So this will fit neatly in your backpack and this will possibly fit neatly in your top pocket. You can just take it anywhere. But uh, let's unwrap them and see what they look like inside. Oh no, in all the excitement, I completely forgot to switch on the microphone, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover while I tear off the outer coverings. Brrr. So here we have the Sea White Travel Journal watercolour notebook with not finished watercolour paper, and it has this elastic strap around the outside to hold the whole thing together. And when you open it up, uh, first thing is it's really nice bright paper, and this is not finished watercolour paper, so it's not kind of hard pressed and it's got a very smooth surface, but it's but it's not that kind of really decally um, watercolour paper. So it's it's kind of a, a really nice kind of just the right weight. It's not too thick, um, and but it does have this slightly kind of deckled kind of textured surface, but not too much. Uh, so I'm I'm sort of feeling that's probably going to scan okay. Now at the back we've got this little uh, pouch for holding in all those things that you find like you know tickets exhibition things like that um, feathers whatever you find on your sketching trips and this interesting little slit in there so there's a kind of a secret compartment you can probably put kind of tickets and things like that that you want for uh, you know if you are going around an exhibition you can just pop your tickets in there and get them easily um, I've not seen that interesting little thing before so there we are there's a really neat um really neat size really neat altogether, and i'm really looking forward to using that it also has this little ribbon uh, so you can place mark uh, your your favorite drawing or exactly where you are although somehow i think with watercolor paper it's kind of quite easy to tell uh, how far through the book you have got so you can always place mark that really good drawing that you want to share everybody now the A5 the, now the A5 journal is is sort of exactly the same but bigger, um, and it has that uh, same thing at the back. It has the same pocket at the back, and um, what I'm looking forward to with this is to use this as a, an everyday kind of workbook. Um, so uh, what I'm also hoping is that this paper is available um, to use uh, to get hold of. Uh, so that I've got a, like a complete workflow so I can be doing sketches and planning and things in my workbook and then take it on to the finished drawing in the same paper. So I'm kind of using the same materials all the time and not kind of feeling like I'm switching uh, between one thing and another. So I kind of have a, a flow to the whole thing, if that makes any sense at all. So um, I'm really looking forward to using these. Uh, I'm going out Christmas shopping with Mrs. Rayner very soon and I'm going to take my little sketchbook with me um, to start working on because quite often she'll go into a shop and I get a bit bored and I'll go and sit on a bench and <laughs> sketch the people around me. So I'm going to go and do that and, uh, and I'll come back and start telling you about how it works in practice. Here we are. I put a sticker on the front there. I need to do a design. And sure enough, I went <laughs> sketching. And, um, I didn't, I, well, I did have my paints with me, but I didn't really have time to paint. So, um, so I thought I would do that now. So I'm getting out my Aquos water brush. Uh, all the links are down below. And this is my little um, watercolor set. I need to find a cleanish area there, don't I? Let me just clean that up. <laughs> So first of all, we uh, we went shopping. We went uh, we went to John Lewis to have a, a cup of coffee when we got there, and um, and I saw this woman getting <laughs> getting herself ready. <laughs> this child, she had a little baby. John Lewis is um, where you see a lot of new mums at John Lewis. It's the kind of I suppose in the states, it's the kind of. Um, Kind of Sears, I suppose, is the nearest. I suppose it's a similar kind of thing, I think. And um, so, you know, I think they have a big baby department there, lots of 
uh, new parents go there to <laughs> to get stuff and um and i think it's kind of easy they're changing rooms and stuff like that i know we used to go an awful lot when my children were young and uh so you can get all your baby stuff and everything all in one place and tend to meet other mums and things there and say anyway this lady was having a a cup of coffee with a friend of hers who also had a baby and then she, she sort of got up and started doing something with these these kind of straps and things which i thought was uh, first of all I, I just sort of sort of saw her out of the corner of my eye and i thought um she had some kind of strange t-shirt on and she's kind of arranging these straps in this interesting kind of way what is she doing and then i realized it's some kind of it's a kind of a baby <laughs> baby carrying device actually this was quite tart blue so this is the, this is the other problem isn't it when you're painting at home you have to kind of remember what what the colors were so that was the thing because it very much stood out um that she had this kind of very tight um kind of contraption it wasn't a contraption it looked like sort of a t-shirt or something but then she kind of slid this baby into it and kind of tucked up this thing around it <laughs> and it's a sort of papoose kind of thing that she had on so um so i just had to draw her and i, I think she had very blonde hair as well um, I can't think what this is. I think there must have been some um, some architectural thing going on there. So I'll just kind of paint that in. Oh, green. It shouldn't be green, should it? Probably not. But anyway, um, I'll just kind of stick a little something in here. So how is the paper? This is what I'm really asking, <laughs> wanting to know about, isn't it? So you can see here there's a little texture to it there. I'm going to zoom in a bit now. Yeah, so you can see here there's a little bit of texture to the paper um which is kind of nice I, th I think i've always um i've always avoided any kind of texture in paper but this is kind of quite subtle um i think it's something i can work with i think because i really want i really want this sort of watercolor paper because it in, in my other journal, which you'll have seen me working in before, the, the paper is not really watercolour paper. So what, the thing about watercolour paper is it will just take a lot more, <laughs> take a lot more painting. It'll take more layers and it dries a bit quicker, dries slightly differently. Um, and oh, let's have a bit of pink on this baby there, something like that. And I think you need a little bit more kind of shadow in underneath there. And I think that's all I'm going to do on that one. <laughs> yeah, they had this uh, Christmas tree. It's Christmas time, so they're you know selling Christmas trees. So, as well as decorating the uh, cafe, they're showing you all the Christmas trees that are available for sale. Of course, all the, the um not the the artificial trees that is yeah and then i saw this lady here <laughs> she was this was inside so she was really buttoned up <laughs> against the <laughs> she's got a green face now because i haven't quite cleaned the brush properly and she had this kind of red mm, bandana i want to call it it's not a bandana is it it's a Kind of ear muff thing to keep your ears warm, rather, isn't it? Like that. And then uh, I can't remember the colour, so I'm making this up now. So I'll assume she had a kind of a purpley scarf that kind of matched the bandana. <laughs> and then I'm going to give her a kind of a bluey something coat. So now I think, yeah, I'm not quite sure which side of the paper i'm on at the moment so this is another interesting thing about about a watercolor book like this is sometimes you're working on the back of the paper and the, the surface is going to be on the other side so uh so i'm wondering whether in fact this side might be the surface um and this is the back in which case it's not going to work exactly the same 
but um, it depends you know I suppose you can once you've worked out which side is which then you can alternate the pages you can and just you know use the use the the official watercolor side page which I think in in some books you think oh my goodness I'm paying so much for this uh, book um, I, I can't possibly leave out every other page but um, at least the sea white ones are certainly good value for money as I said you can't get them in the States yet I don't think um, I'll let you know when they come on Amazon um, but I'll put a link down below that there is that there are a couple of online places that you can get them at the moment They're, these are very very new see right tell me they just introduced them they're almost still in testing and trial kind of stage at the moment I just happened to go on their website and saw that they they've done these things oh oh would you like could I have a go <laughs> can I try them out and they very kindly sent me these two to try out and so far I am liking this a lot and I think it's it's very hard to explain what the difference is between you know if you're using a, a watercolor paper and just another paper I think it's just got more strength endurance I think and you can just keep painting over and you get different kind of um, it just kind of dries differently and just hmm it's just more suited to watercolor really I suppose is the thing um, and then yeah there are lots lots of people now if you go to a mall and you see people shopping oh let me start with the face um, if you go to the mall and you just sit there and you watch people, I don't suppose you do that very often because you're too busy shopping, <laughs> looking in windows. But if you sit down on a bench and start watching people, you will see an enormous number of people walking along staring at their phones. And this is a <laughs> a big <laughs> a big thing that people do in malls, I suppose. I know from my experience that uh, you know we get I go with my wife and my children not so not with the children so much these days but uh, then let me think I think we had kind of bright yellow down the side there or something um, and so we would always sort of say oh I'll just go off and uh, I'll just go off and buy them this thing to see if they got something in that shop over there and then you get separated and you go back and then <laughs> Most of your family have moved on, and so I think in a mile people are phoning each other all the time. Going, Where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm by the dresses <laughs> and such and such and such. So um, I think there's a lot of that goes on. Oh, but you know, it's gonna. I am making this up entirely. Um, sometimes you kind of remember, but this this is actually a few days ago now. I've been very very busy. Um, I'm working on a book at the moment, and then I've been up to London. Had a very interesting time yesterday. I was at the Society of Authors Annual General Meeting. That's quite interesting. Now let's go over. I'm going to do. What else have I got? Oh yes, yes, I went to the, um, <laughs> let me do this page, because that, this page feels like this could be the, the painting side. Um, I went to the auction the other day as well, and uh, so I did a little bit of drawing at the auction. So this is the auctioneering. <laughs> And I was successful. I've got the things that I wanted, although I think I probably paid a bit more than I'd actually intended. Not a huge amount more than I'd intended, but I was more, more keen to get the things because they're going to be gifts for people who uh, particularly like those things. Um, what happened yesterday? I went up to London to the Society of Authors Annual General Meeting, that's right, and I was chairing a session there. So we have lots of authors come along for for the afternoon and we kind of entertain and inform while they're there. And so I did a session about 
I'm talking about my YouTube experience partly and uh, we had um, a Lady Crystal Mahay hmm I've forgotten her son name oh anyway and she was talking about her publishing company that she'd set up very much on the kitchen table and um, that was very interesting and, and then we also had um, a guy called Matta Haggis who is a professor of um, computer game design and he was talking about the role of writers in in computer aid, computer design and how writers and storytellers are really needed to, <laughs> to make computer games a little bit more well interesting really and um, cause, you know, most computer games are tend to be you know shooting killing chasing <laughs> chasing unicorns and princesses <laughs> so um he was talking about you know trying to put more emotional depth into games and making them more interesting and mysterious and and, and sort of yeah you know, sort of taking on you know so if you you know if you're a novelist and trying to do what you do in a novel in a computer game and one of the things he was sharing was um, uh, there's a book he oh there's a game he'd done I can't remember the name of it I should have all this at my fingertips shouldn't I um, but it's kind of a story of somebody who dies and it's the bereavement of the family afterwards so all done in a kind of a game environment where you kind of explore explore the characters and things and um, so he said for instance you know there's just a you can explore the you can walk around the room and look at the 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 bookcases and see the books that are on on the bookcase and he said look every single book here he said I've chosen <laughs> because they're the kinds of books that this particular character would have and he said you know in in a book you might kind of refer to this in a novel to build up the um in the definition of the character so everybody kind of gets the feel of who this person is so you know as you build a character in a story you're adding detail all the time the things they like things they do and in a game you can do that not by saying not not by actually just writing but the writing is in in the planning as it were um, and by putting incidental detail in around the place you're creating the backstory of the character <laughs> this is very interesting so um and and he and i found we had an awful lot in common actually we were chatting afterwards we've both done a lot of uh, flash animation in the past and things and so <laughs> so, so we had a jolly good old chinwag afterwards um yeah so there we go and uh, so this morning yeah, I'm actually quite a bit tired because it was kind of a late night back from London and uh, this guy was very bald I remember very cold everyone was very cold <laughs> it's, it's the auction rooms are also cattle it's a cattle market and so um this particular room that we were in here is actually a cattle market ring <laughs> and um so there's not really much heating and in the winter it gets a bit bit chilly but uh, there's a lot of good humor everybody's sort of giggling and making jokes and <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's, it, it's it's a fun morning out to actually go to the auction um, let's get this guy uh, Oh, this this guy here, I think he knew that I was sketching him and he kept kind of looking at me in a kind of mysterious kind of what are you up to kind of way. So, <laughs> and I don't know, I, I, I don't think anybody's, when I've been doing that kind of thing, nobody's ever really come up and had a look, I don't suppose. Some people do, but they're usually not the ones that I've been drawing because I'm usually drawing people that are just have gone past and I just sort of caught a glimpse of. So here I'm just going to kind of 
fade him in there. And here's this young woman, and she had um, a very blonde hair. And oh, let me get some colouring in there. And then she had dark glasses on her head, which seemed quite quite unnecessary. <laughs> I said, I don't know. Actually, it's a very low sun, so maybe she was using them for driving. And uh, get a bit more. So, so I think yeah, this is the um, this is the finished side of the paper. This and this is acting quite quite differently. So. Yeah, I think I uh, will come back to you next time and as I've done sort of more work in these and ten, uh, I'll kind of think about the difference between the, the, the finished side of the paper and, and, and the back and um, tell you, how, you know, see how I start sort of working out that kind of, it's not a problem because you, you know, I think you maybe just work differently on different sides. But uh, I'll do a bit more uh, investigation. Maybe I'll ask C. White about that. There we go. I think that's... Oh! There we go. It's all over there, isn't it? So the trouble is you're getting carried away painting and not looking in the camera to see, <laughs> see if it's all in the... Let's come back to here. And this is kind of drying. I think once it's kind of... The book is closed up again, it's going to dry quite flat. I am liking these a lot. As I say, that the, there are links down below um, where you can get them in the UK, and I'm going to be using this an awful lot more. So, as they become available in the States on Amazon, I will let you know. Thanks for watching, and you can support this channel and get so much more on my Patreon page. Click to find out more. Make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain and Drawing channel on YouTube, and in the meantime, Keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.